Hi, I'm Kenny D, and today I'm excited to show you my new paddle board from Fun Water. We've got the Epic board from their Tuxedo Sailor line of inflatable paddle boards. Real quick, we're going to do a quick unboxing to show you all the things that come with your purchase. We're going to do a demonstration as well as some tips on how to use your paddle board and also how to care for your paddle board to make sure that you get the longest amount of use that you can out of it. First thing right away, we have the very nice and attractive carrying case. Everything that comes in this box should be able to pack down into your carrying case to be able to take wherever you need to go. Next we have a removable seat to be able to attach to the board if you don't want to stand or maybe you're going down the river and you just want to use it like a kayak. That's what the seat's for. You have your manual air pump to be able to inflate your board. Removable fins that attach to the bottom of your board. There are three of those. One of the features that I was most excited about with this particular board is that it comes with these fishing rod mounts. So yes, you can actually go out, take your fishing rod with you, set it into the mount so you can still navigate around on the board without having to hold on to your rod. Of course, we have the board, which I will inflate and show you here in a minute. We have the ankle leash to attach to the board so you don't lose the board in the event that you fall off. A carrying strap repair kit and a nice handy dandy dry bag to be able to put all your stuff in that needs to stay nice and dry and out of the water and of course it does come with an adjustable paddle. Now that we've gone over all of the stuff that comes with your paddle board purchase I'm going to get this board inflated real quick and I'll show you some of the features of this board as well as some quick tips on how to set up your board to get ready to get out of the water. Okay, now that we've got the board inflated, we can take a closer look at it and look at some of its features. As you can see, it's a very attractive looking board. It's vibrant, it's very well made, feels very durable, and you can also see it's a pretty large board. It's 12 foot long and 33 inches wide. This board is rated at 380 pounds, which is more than enough for you and your gear. You've got bungee tie downs in the front and the back for your dry bag, your tackle box, your cooler, whatever else you need to take on your trip. We have two D rings on each side of the board. You'll use these to attach your seat if you want to use it. You'll also use them to attach your carrying strap, which I think is a really, really neat thing to include. You'll also see we have two points here for our fishing rod mounts, and I'll show you how to use those here in a second. We've got a really, really nice rubberized mat here to be able to stand on, lay on, very comfortable. And it's also great to be able to keep grip on the board when it gets wet. Now that we've seen what the board looks like, let's take a closer look at some of the features and how to set it up. Installing the fins is actually really simple. The first thing we're gonna do is take the large fin, make sure that the curvature of the fin is pointed to the back of the board. We're gonna set these little teeth into the grooves here. You're gonna slide it to the back and then you're gonna take one of these securing pins and just come right in here to the little channel and slide that in and that is going to lock the fin in place. We're gonna do the same thing with the other two fins and that's it. Next, we're gonna get your ankle leash attached. This D-ring on the back handle here is for your leash. All you're gonna do is put the cord through you're gonna open up that cord, grab the leash, carefully pull it all through, and you're tied to the board. You've got this handy little pull tab here. Pull the Velcro apart, put it around your ankle, and if you fall off the board, your board's not leaving you behind. Next is a feature that I'm really excited about this board. It's the fishing rod mount. Like I said, you have two mount points. You have two mounts. You don't even have to pick which one you wanna use. To install the mount, all you have to do is push the two latches to the side, line the grooves up in whatever direction you want it to go, and you just push those latches back in, and it's not going anywhere. This is a paddle board after all, so let's take a second to look at the paddle. We have the bottom half of our paddle here. It just comes apart in two sections. We're just gonna put that together right here real quick. What is nice about this board and the paddle that it comes with is you do have the option for your traditional single-sided paddle but you can also go with the uh, kayak double-sided paddle if you are doing some kayaking or just wanna be able to use both sides. If you're not certain about the ideal length of the paddle on your paddleboard, here's a tip to quickly adjust it to the correct height. 
Start by placing the paddle on the ground lightly. You don't want to damage it. Take one arm straight up like you're reaching towards the sky and adjust the length of the handle until it reaches about your wrist and then close it up. That is going to be your ideal length to use on your paddle board. Lastly, we have our carrying strap to be able to carry our board very easily wherever we're going. We're just gonna clip this right in here onto the D-rings on the side of the board. It's in there securely and we are ready to hit the water. All right, you just finished an awesome day on the water on your paddleboard. Now you wanna make sure you take care of your paddleboard and put it away correctly so that you can enjoy it for many years to come. First thing you wanna do is make sure you spray your board off. Get all of that lake or ocean water off, all the dirt and grime. You don't wanna leave that on your board when you put it away in your bag because that's only gonna smell. It's not gonna make your board look good and it's gonna slowly deteriorate all the components so that your board's not gonna last as long as you'd like. Next, after you've cleaned off your board, you're gonna be able to remove all of your components, deflate the board, and you're gonna be able to put all of it into your convenient carrying bag. Everything that you see here will fit in this bag, and you're gonna be able to very easily tote it around with you wherever you feel like you're gonna go adventuring. Thanks for watching my video. I hope you find it helpful. If you did, give it a like and subscribe. Also, feel free to follow my socials. If there's anything I missed or anything you have questions about, feel free to leave me a message or a comment and I will be happy to address it for you.